Holy crap, welcome back to Silent Hill, everybody, and I'm also welcoming myself back. It's been like two weeks since I did a Silent Hill recording, and I don't even remember uh, where the hell I am. I think last time we got a key. Let's see, let's check my inventory here. Uh, examination room key, found in patient room in the second floor basement. Oh yeah, we were in the basement and we found the videotape and ah, it's, ah, it's all coming back to me now. Okay, well, we need to go to the examination room, which I don't remember which floor it's on. I think it's on the second floor though, isn't it? Uh, yes, I think. No, no, it's on the first floor. Examination room, it's that nice door that's so nicely locked okay well now what's going to be interesting is me trying to find my way back to an elevator although luckily i don't see any enemies or i don't hear them rather i think we've pretty much taken care of all the enemies of silent hill for the time being which is kind of nice to get back into i don't have to go into uh gunfire as soon as i get back all right, and hopefully my controls are gonna be smooth. I think I'll be all right. So help me God, if I find a nurse or a doctor coming off this elevator, I'm going to scream. Nope, think we're good. Although we are going to a new area, so maybe there will be more nurses and doctors. Ah, uh, yes, I think we're on the right track. Go up here. And I just clicked my inventory screen again instead of my map. Hey, would you look at that, guys? I found my way here without even looking at my map. Like, a whole lot. Big round of applause for me. Clap, clap, clap. Alright. Alright, deep breath. Let's use the key and see what's gonna be in here. I don't wanna know, honestly. Oh, it's just, it's just a girl. Thank God. And it looks like it's a regular nurse. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Again, going into the whole Short, spiel. Short, black hair, seven years old. Oh, Harry. A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. That's suspicious. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... Mm. Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. Ugh, it's this crazy woman again. It's you. What does she want? Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. 
tell me everything you know. What's going on? Still not wearing any shoes. Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? No. So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. We've only seen it once, lady. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Ah, uh, bitches be crazy. Okay, did she... No, she didn't. Is the key right here? Can I pick this up? Yeah. This is an antique shop key. I was going to say, did she put it in our inventory automatically or do we have to pick it up? But we just need to pick it up. Okay, so we are back in, I guess, regular world, which is really nice. And I guess we can go back out uh, and leave. I assume we're done in the hospital because usually when you're in the other world and you come back, I mean, that generally means that you're all done. So I'm going to assume we can leave now. And the door is even open for us. How nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I hear dogs. Go away. Okay, so now I have no idea where we're supposed to go, I think. See, I'm confused, because she said go to the church, but I don't really see any other churches in town. Oh, I can't read any of these, first of all. I mean, none of these things were even L um legible i see post office something forest cafe police station sound hill town center i think that building says antique green lion maybe that's where we should go because i can't see any other sort of church because uh, we were already at balkan church and i don't remember seeing anything else in the other part of silent hill and knowing Silent Hill, if I was to try and go back to the other part, it wouldn't let me. So I'm just going to take a wild guess and say we need to go to that antique shop, and maybe the antique shop is a way to get to this other church she spoke of, which, uh, again, that's just all assumptions. And I'm going kind of sort of in the right direction. I need to go this way. And hopefully the street's open. So, just keep running. I, I'm gonna go whatever that pass, whatever the hell that jumping ape man monkey thing is. I I think you guys have seen it, but I try to avoid them because they those things really freak me out. There's probably bullets and stuff to collect, and I probably should be collecting it, knowing how low I am on bullets. But hopefully, when we get to a new area of Silent Hill, there will be more bullets for me to restore. Uh, on because I think I've only got 40 bullets at this point. I'm gonna be so screwed if I get to a point You've got to be kidding me in this game where I have no bullets. Oh Wow, okay. I did I did go the right way. I just went way past it. Okay The antique shop is right here. Okay, so we actually made our way through I just went way too far. All right, let's go in And what is, what is that noise on my radio? It's like, do you guys hear that? I mean, it's just like insanely loud. It's like a big screeching noise. I don't know what that was, but. Uh, turn on my flashlight, there we go. Nothing in here, no noises. Nice and peaceful, I like that. That's a good sign. And it's apparently three o'clock, okay. 
Anything else to inspect in here? No. There's a save pad if I need it. Some chairs. It kind of looks like an antique shop. Are there bullets on here? Or are these just... None of this stuff is of any use. Well, you never know, Harry. You gotta go through it and see if there's anything useful. Ooh, a couch. Let's sit down. No, I guess we can't. Uh, what's this here? There is a trace on the floor that somebody has moved the cabinet. Yeah, I guess we should push it. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can do. <gasps> dun 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 dun! Secret cave. What's this? Harry! <gasps> it's Sybil! Sybil? I haven't seen <sighs> you in a long time. I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. I'm so confused. Hmm? So is Harry, apparently. What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> they sell them to the tourists. Good assumption. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. Those must be some good drugs. Maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? It's a hole, Sybil. Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. But Harry's a man. No. I'm going. <laughs> He's so firm and going. All right. And she's like, whatever. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination. 
you know? You must be on drugs, Harry. I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. We're going exploring. Oh, Harry Mason, you're such a man, doing the majestics, not letting a lady go in by her by herself. You know, Sybil's a pretty good character. I'm glad to see her again. And I think that Lisa's a good character too, but Dahlia and Coffin can go suck one. All right, well, this episode's getting pretty long at this point, so I guess uh, we can stop here and we can find out what's in this spooky hallway. Hopefully nothing too spooky. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all next time for another episode of Silent Hill.